In this video, we're going to be talking about delta configuration and specifically the voltages. In other videos, I've talked about voltages on the Y configuration and the difference between Y and delta. But this video here, we're just going to focus solely on the voltage and the configuration of delta. Now, the nice thing about delta is it's a very, very easy voltage to figure out. Now here we have our delta configuration, and we can tell it's delta because it kind of looks like a triangle, and that's where we get the name delta from. Delta is the Greek symbol, and we often use it in the electrical field, or often everywhere. It's a symbol for change. So right now we've got three phases. We've got this phase we'll call, I believe, A, B, and C, and they'll have voltages across it. And when we deal with voltages in a three-phase system, if you see with Y, you've got a phase voltage, and then you've got a line voltage. We're going to talk about the difference between the two in the delta system. So here we go. We've got 120 volts. So I've got 120 volts on this phase, 120 volts on this phase, and 120 volts on this phase. So right off the hop, we can say that we have 120 volts on each phase. So our phase voltage is 120 volts. Now, the nice thing about delta is because we are reading from this point here and this point here, it's just reading across this one phase, our phase voltage and our line voltage are the exact same thing. We'll do the same thing for the next phase. I've got 120 volts here. And again, it's because it's reading from this point and this point. So it's just reading across this winding. It's only reading that one phase. So our phase voltage again is the same as our line voltage. And to round things out, we have this voltage here. I'm going to read from this point to this point, which is basically reading across this winding here. And just to sum it all up, I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. In a delta configuration, E line is equal to E phase. Now, that's not necessarily true when we get to the current, which we'll discuss in another video.